hello everyone you are welcome to my youtube channel i am Ridwan ibrahim in this video i will proceed to show you how you can apply a load on your slab then what exactly will i be showing you i will be showing you how you can apply a line load to your slab in the previous video i showed you the two ways on how you can apply an area load in this other video i'll be showing you of course two other methods too on how you can apply a line load but you need to keep it at the back of your mind that a line load can be either of two one it can be a rectangular load and it can be a trapezoidal load so i'm going to show you how you can apply either of the two so let's just begin the video now to apply the line load one you can go to um building set out again then you go to wall type you know wall type because this is a partition let's say you want to have a block that is directly sitting on the slab it is not sitting on the beam you know your slab is usually seated on the beam then at the edges of the slab which is being supported by a beam you can have a wall going on there so the wall which is the partition wall i mean non-structural wall it will be a load on the beam that is why i usually apply a load to the beam but what if it is sitting directly on the slab there is no beam beyond that side so it is a partition on the slab directly so that is what i'm going to show you right now so you can just click on wall type you can see wall types library now we have different kind of wall you can see by default you see all of these 100 mm whatsoever you can actually use all of this you can see 100 mm brick wall malaysia and everything okay but the block wall that we use in nigeria is the nine inches and the six inches majorly the nine inches the um the nine inches the unit weight is um 2.87 you know the average value is um 2.87 kilonewton per meter squared but that nine inches you know at least you still have to plaster the surfaces so with the additional load of the plastering we usually use it to be 3.47 kilonewton per meter squared okay 3.47 kilonewton per meter squared so um that's what i'm going to add now let me just click on this add button so this is the new load now i'm going to give it a name let me give it 225 mm nigeria no let me just say 225 mm block wall and i'll give it iphone i'm just trying to name it in a fantastic way so nigeria so that's the name i want to give to the to the partition and then i'll come to edit material now you're going to see um different kind of wall you can see dense block whatever whatever so i'll just click on my ad here then i'll give it a name no, I don't want to give it a long name. Let me just see Nigeria block. Okay. Now you are going to add the unit weight. But be very careful. The unit weight you have to add here is in kilonewton per meter cube. Not kilonewton per meter square. Okay. So let me just do um, a little bit of calculation. Um, calculator. Now if the value I use here is 3.5. 47 in kilonewton per meter squared and the unit weight of the and the size of the block is 2 to 5 so i'll just say divided by 0 0.225 you know if i convert that to meter so that will give me 15.4 15.42 so let me say 15.42 now i will write 15.422 okay so that's not bad then just click on okay next you click on this add button so i'm going to add that and then click on this drop down i'm going to click um this is it nigeria block and then the unit weight don't forget the unit weight is 225 in millimeter okay the automatically you will see it will calculate the load value you can see the load is now 3.47 kilonewton in meter square you can see it here 3.47 kilonewton per meter square so this is the value i want to apply just click on okay so all i've just done right now is to create the load okay i've just created the load now i have to apply the load so uh, you come to um slab load here okay now you should know we are working with line load okay so click on the line load now you click on this drop down to look for it so click on the drop down and where is it this is it two to five mm block wall nigeria so when you click on that automatically the value of the load will come down you can see the value is now here 3.47 okay 3.47 however you still have to apply something else you know a wall will be a wall a wall will usually have a height so you have to assign so you have to assign the value of the load in meter you see in meter so let's say the load is um 1.5 meter tall 
okay or let's say 1.2 meter tall is a short wall so if that is done you just apply your load let's say it's between here and here but you can hold your control so that you can have a straight line okay so just drop it here now you can see the load has been applied okay so let's add another one here uh, let's say it's uh, you know it's a complicated load something like this so hold your control so that it can be straight um, then start on that one here okay okay but you might be wondering if you can actually control the length of course you can control the length let's say you want to start from here so start from here okay you can just press f2 let's say the length is um two five you can just enter two five on your keyboard click on enter then you now have to you can hold your control so that it can be straight okay then just left click now you can see the length of the wall will be exactly three meter and then when you zoom closely you see um the name 225 block wall nigeria and then the value of the dead load okay you might be wondering why it has increased of course it will increase you know because this is now in kilonewton per meter so if you multiply 3.47 with 1.2 the value will definitely be 4.16 kilonewton per meter okay so that is the first way you can apply a line load okay so let's see that in um in 3d let's see the effect okay so uh, in 3d okay that should be in story one so if you see it in story one you can see the one that i applied this is the first one that i applied like a box you can see it here so that's the the the, the load and then you can see this one is just a single load there's nothing connected to it but this one is connected it's like you know, like a box now i'm going to show you um you know the second method for applying your 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 load so um what you are going to do is instead of defining the load you just go to slab load directly go to slab load okay and then you go to your line load here okay then you are not going to enter any value you are just going to insert your value here the value of the load let's say um i think the last one we applied now is 4.7 something let me just say 4.6 okay all right so now if you want the load to be a udl you are going to apply the same value at start with the same value you at you have at the end but if it will be different all you just need to do is apply let's say six here so automatically the load will be lower at this start and then higher and the at the other side so that is um that is a trapezoidal load okay so you can apply a trapezoidal load you can apply you know a rectangular load it is still a line load okay so um that is very perfect you can see now here i don't need to define the height of the wall i'll just apply the exact value i am aiming to achieve okay so when you do that you can just come here to apply it here so let me just hold my control so that i can have a straight line then you apply the load then you can see the load has been applied so you can see the load okay so that's very um that's very perfect let me add another one yeah so you can see it is still the same thing that will be achieved you can see g is got 4.6 that is what i've applied okay so um it is 4.6 at the start and then 6 at the end okay so let me add um another one that is um equal let's say 4.6 4.6 so here we are expecting a rectangular load not a not a trapezoidal load so i'll start from here hold my control then i'll drop it here so you can see now that is very um that is very perfect so the load has been applied let's see how it looks like in 3d you know in 3d you can see what you are seeing it will just be applied as a nine load you can see this is just a line load okay it will not show you what is being shown here which is the height of the wall you know this is just like a real wall okay and then when you look at this when you look at this particular load you see that the this side is higher this side is six while this side is 4.6 okay it may be kind of confusing let me try to um let me go to my plan so that i can edit the load so that it can be very visible so let me change this to just right click go to property now this side is six let me increase it to let's say 10 you know it will be very obvious that way 10 then let me change this to 10 too I'll change this to 10 as well so now it will be very obvious that yeah it is a um, trapezoidal load okay so now let's check that out in 3d now you can see that it's very obvious now that this side is higher than this side okay so this side the value is 4.6 while this side it is 10 all right this will be the end on how you can apply a line load to your slab in brutal structure 
In the next video, I will proceed to show you how you can apply a point load to your slab in printout structure. If you find this video useful, make sure you give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you give it a subscription. And also, you need to turn on the notification button so that you can receive notifications whenever I post a new video. Subscription is actually free. It doesn't cost. Okay, thank you.